This is Jax. He doesn't like when I hold him, so this is a record. So let go and surprise yourself. I am, let's see. I am 11 days post-op from top surgery. So I've been trying to be more, um, more and more active without like being like too active. M me being active is more so just like going on walks. It's like not good to be super, super active because if you're being super active and your your heart rate is going up and your blood is pumping, it can cause for, for swelling because more blood is going to certain areas and you don't really want that when you're recovering. So it's good to just be super light with your activity level. You know, I, I'm not gonna lie, like it has been tough to like not be able to be super active because it's literally my life like going to the gym and doing something active is the beginning to my day every day not being able to be active and kind of being just like homebound it uh it gets to you but so let me show you my chest this is my chest right now uh 11 days post-op still a little swollen this side i feel like is a little bit more swollen than this side so yeah so having a hard time not being able to like go to the gym and sort of be active kind of leads me into mental health my mental health has has been has been fine but there is such a thing as like post-op depression of what you hear about but there are days that are harder than others it's more so when i have time to think like if you give yourself too much time to think then you start thinking like, oh my God, like this sucks and I can't do anything and leads to just negativity. I've been getting better mentally wise just because I am able to be a little bit more mobile um, just with movement and getting out of the house a little bit more. You have to just keep yourself busy because it's when you when you give yourself time to think is when you start getting upset about things and that's when the depression can come along so i've been trying to to take longer walks i've been taking like my camera out you know finding cool places to video or take pictures and stuff making youtube videos if you ever wanted to try something like new or different or whatnot like now's the time like you have so much time on your hands and it's the perfect opportunity to perfect the craft, uh, just keep working towards towards something. Because um, all, all we have is time right now, so make sure that you're filling your time with things that you like to do instead of just being a lump on a log. So just as far as like, I'm starting to kind of be able to more so feel the muscles again, because you're kind of numb for a while at first. So I've been able to kind of start getting like a feeling back in a sense let me try to take these off hold on and they give you this tape and that's why i have like these markings on my chest because the fucking tape fuck, stupid ass residue shit that just does not come off yeah it's like really fucking sticky yeah my chest is really uh really not looking good right now it's i mean i'm only 11 days post-op surgery but it's it's healing i mean it's starting to like kind of crust over yeah this is from all the fucking tape markings so it's still a little swollen it's a little more swollen on this side like i could feel the kind of it's swelling it's swollen there but this side was always a little bit bigger like this side of my chest was always a tad bigger than this side the side's not as much swollen, still a little bit like here. But as far as like feeling, it's a little numb in here. It's getting better under here and right here. I can feel, yeah, the numbness is starting to slowly go away. Numb up here and stuff. My nipples are numb, I can't feel my nipples. The placement is so symmetrical, it's insane. But, uh, so the wrap that they give you to wear, I've been wearing this a little bit less. They basically just want you to wear it the second week after, just because you're still gonna swell and stuff. But <clears throat> I've been pretty like I've been I haven't really swelled up too bad. So I'll I'll I've just been wearing this at night the past couple days. It's just good to keep things compressed for a little bit longer, just to avoid any more swelling that could potentially happen. So yeah, I'm still I still kept the the pads, these pad things on the nipple part though. Just because I, that's like I said, that's the part that's healing the most, and I don't really want them to be exposed per se, or like rub against my shirt or something. So I've been wearing that. I've been wearing the the pad 
the little pad pieces with the tape, but I'm really getting fucking sick of the tape because the tape's a bitch to take off and it leaves shitty <laughs> marks on my chest, so that's kind of annoying. The other thing, and I talked about this last time, um, is what's called pleating. So if you notice, kind of the pleating around the nipple, the kind of the way that, um, kind of these lines, I don't know if, yeah. So that's a result from Perry. It's like one of the things that the doctor tells you could happen, but it's just basically has to do with the elasticity of your skin. It's not too bad, like it's not bad, and I think that it'll get better, but right now it looks kind of funky. You can't even really tell unless you were to be super up close anyway, so I'm not like too concerned with that. Overall, like I've been healing, I've been healing really well. Like every day I feel a little bit better. I still have to like be super conscious of making sure I stand up straight and being mobile as much as I can without hurting myself and straining myself. Even if it feels kind of uncomfortable, like still try to be as mobile. I don't know, just just move, you know? It's simple as just move move around. Um, Cause you can tend to do this. Like I tend to do that cause that your body wants you to, yeah, I try to work on my posture as much as possible. And it's, you know, staying, you know, just trying to open my chest up cause it, it, it is tighter. If anybody has any questions as far as, uh, you know, peri areola or the surgery itself, you can leave a comment. Anyways, that's my update. Thank you guys for watching. It's been real, it's been fun, but it hasn't been real fun. I'll see you guys in the next one. And when we get together, she says let's make this open.